So this Matt Skibbity Toilet guy is back with his band, the Alkaline Trios, to release some new music, okay? He was in Blink-182 for the longest time, okay? Maybe put out a couple records with Blink-182. Blink-182 was like, we don't need you anymore, Matt Skibbity Toilet. Get the freak out of here. So Matt Skibbity Toilet had no other choice but to get to stepping, kick rocks, you know what I mean? He was kicking up the dust and he had to go back to his original band, the Alkaline Trio Quartet, okay? So he's back there with his band and they're putting out these records on Rise Records, okay? Now Rise Records is a part of the UMG. Are you familiar with the UMG, the Universal Music Group? These guys are ruthless, but not as ruthless as the internet's most ruthless gatekeeper, Dan Frampton. That's me. How's it going? Is it your first time here? If it is, subscribe, like, throw some stacks of pancakes down there in the comment section. If you're feeling frisky, if you're feeling nasty, if you're feeling gnarly, here we go. I hope you're kicking back. This video is going to be 300% more enjoyable whilst kicking back, okay? Yeah, I'm in a bit of a mood. I'm doing a bit of a thing. And we're going on to the Rise Records YouTube page. We're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna see the Alkaline Trio Quartet putting out this new record, okay? Matt Skibbity Toilet. He's been out here making the old punk rock music for many, many millennia, okay? It has been written in stone tablets and in scripture. It has been foretold. The prophecy, Matt Skibbity Toilet, will be indoctrinated into the Blinketh 182, and then he will be revoked. He will be rejected from the Blinketh 182, and then he will go back to the Alkaline Trio Quartet, and he will make this song called Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs, and it's looking like he only has maybe one out of those three things on his current face. All right. So here we go. Matt Skibbity Toilet and the Alkaline Trio Quartet with this song. We're going to be doing a bit of a reaction. Okay. Oh my God. Look at them go. They're out here having a little bit of a cookout, a little bit of a luau, maybe even a little bit of a tailgater. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. A lot of red cups, a lot of, a lot of Americans here. We've got a lot of Patriots, got a lot of striped shirts. Oh, hell yeah. Are we going to see some old men skateboarding here? This is going to be sick. Blood, Hair, and Eyeballs by the Alkaline Trio Quartet featuring Matt Skibbity Toilet. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I, I guess we are going to see some old people skateboarding, which is great. I think skateboarding is for everybody, but here he is, Matt Skibbity Toilet, in the bottom of this bowl, he's in the bottom of this pool, and he's going to be singing his little song here, all right? He's looking like he's a little bit older than he once was, and I know that's a common theme when you're talking about the Matt Skibbity Toilet. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. Like I said, he's been around for millennia. That <laughs> voice. <laughs> okay, I do think that they're kind of leaning into the whole like, you know, we're a bunch of old dudes looking out of place here at the, at the skate park, but we're also true to ourselves. All right, Matt Skibbity Toilet. Okay, so we got to talk about the song a little bit right now because there's not much going on here. Uh, personally, I don't think. It's not really that catchy. It's not really that fun. I mean, it's all right. I mean, it is just here. So far, Matt Skibbity Toilet, looking like Matt Skibbity Toilet in the bottom of this skateboard and bowl is the most entertaining part of this so far. Uh, maybe even the, the burgers being flipped on the grill. But, but the song is kind of toothless. Okay, so they're mentioning some zombies, sleeping like the undead. I want to see some zombies, all right? Because Green Day, they delivered the zombies when they were out here delivering their zombie video, you know what I mean? Okay, it's editing Dan here. You can tell because of the backwards hat. 
For some reason, I didn't notice that people were having a bad time eating these burgers. People were having reactions to eating the stuff that was being grilled in the video, and this is what is turning people into zombies. There is a little bit of a slow burn on the turning of the people into zombies, and I'm about to be heavily critical of the lack of zombies so far, not realizing that there was kind of a story being told. But that being said, everything else I say, uh, it's still gonna be left in the video. Okay, back to the video. And people were down there in the comments being like, you know what, Alkaline Trio did their zombie thing. Why don't you go check out Al Alkaline Trio's zombie thing? So here I am, I was like, you know what? If they're out here, you know what I mean? If Matt Skibbity Toilet is doing a little zombie thing, I wanna be a part of it. I wanna be seeing it. And so far, I didn't see a whole lot of zombie stuff. Maybe one guy with his eyes rolled back going for a little bite ski there. But uh, nothing too much so far. But we are only a minute and 12 seconds in. Let's go. Nice trick. Look at this guy with his hair and his drums. This is a good face. Oh, damn. Green sludge coming from the mouth. All right, I think we're getting into zombie territory here. Because those girls that were walking by Matt Skibbity Toilet, they gave him this look. Like, I was just like, oh, maybe they just think he looks weird and creepy for being here at the skate park while he's three million years old. But no, I think they saw this zombie person with the zombie sludge. Man, he just like says motherfucking a bunch of times just to sound like he's saying motherfucking a bunch of times. And I'm not really into it, dude. It's kind of lame. Matt's giving you toilet starting to look concerned. He's like, oh man, are my fans zombies? Why are they puking up in this green sludge? Red sludge! Bald guy with mustache doesn't give a shit about the zombies, though. Oh yeah! Okay, now the zombies are here. Okay, why did it take, oh what, a minute and 47 seconds to get the full-fledged zombies? It just started like old skibbity toilets out there playing some punk rock in a fucking little bowl or whatever, having some skateboarders skateboarding around them. You know, you weren't really setting the scene. You weren't really like setting the table for there to be some zombie action going down. You know what I mean? And I'm I supposed to be like three quarters of the way through and then be surprised by the zombies? What's going on here? There was no tone set. That looked sick though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that looks sick too. I like how they took the lyrics of walking like a zombie, sleeping like a zombie, being like a zombie, you know what I mean? And then actualize it visually with all of these zombies, you know what I mean? There's so many zombie things going on right now, and I don't even know uh, where, to, where to start with this thing, all right? There was the Green Day zombie thing, and now Johnny Gilbert was out there with his friend doing this zombie thing, all right? That's another music video that just happened with zombies in it. And now this thing, Alkaline Trio, with their little zombie music video, zombies are just everywhere. And I guess it's like the spooky season and people want to do like spooky things, but everybody's doing the same spooky zombie thing right now. I love drummers that do that, that raise their arm between snare hits. That guy's just snacking on a little foot. What do you think he's going to do with this symbol? Is he going to do like a little discus throw and it's going to chop off a zombie head? 100% he's going to do a discus throw and it's going to chop off a zombie head. 100 million percent. Oh, I didn't call that. Watch it go. Watch it go. Oh, dang. That's quite the budget they had on this thing. I like it. Oh man, bald guy with mustache is really giving a shit now. He's taking off. He doesn't want to be turning into no zombified over here. This is not a Ronnie Radke production. Quickly everybody, into the house. No zombies inside the house. Totally a safe place to go. Promise, nothing devious, nothing devastating, nothing out of the loop is gonna happen right here. <laughs> out of the loop. I've lost the plot. They barred the door. Matt Skibbity Toilets uh, on the telephone. Send for help. We've got millions of zombies. And they're like, yeah, right, Skibbity. Oh, no. I told you, there, there was no safe harbor, okay? I knew there was going to be at least one little zombified inside of the safe house. Clearly. Where's your symbols now? Yeah! Choke that guy out! Do the thing! No one is safe. Choke out the undead. That makes a lot of sense. 
Uh, so you see what they're doing here? This is very clever. They're pretending to be zombies and looking at each other like, hey, I'm a clever bald guy with a mustache, right? And Skibbity Toilet's over here being like, yeah, it's a great idea. If you can't beat them, join them. So yeah, we're totally zombies. Sleep like the undead. Yeah, zombies everywhere. And I think that they had to put out like a visually like distracting video to this boring ass song. And maybe I'm being a little bit ruthless right now because my last couple videos on this channel, I've been so nice, all right? I just had to get a little bit of stuff out of my system. Maybe Matt Skibbity Toilet and his little zombified zombie guys over here is sick. Maybe this is cool. Maybe this is top shelf entertainment, all right? But I'm not seeing it. I think that this is whack. Then it was all a dream, was it? Skibbity toilet? No, he better turn over. Look at him in bed with his little toque and his little pom-pom over here. <laughs> He's got his little, I don't know, bath jacket. <laughs> bath jacket. Sleep with the undead. Oh, the undead. Motherfucking sleeping like a xylophone. Yeah, I'm a xylophone. I'm the undead. Lots of zombies around like a zombie man. Here we got some zombies. Oh, <laughs> jump scare. Knew we were going to get a jump scare. We couldn't get out of the woodwork without a jump scare. There it is. We got the jump scare we were looking for. Wasn't that wonderful? Wasn't that amazing? What a time to be alive, okay? Now this was the Universal Music Group. Rise Records. I'm gonna have to be very, very deliberate and very, very calculating in the editing of this video, all right? In this feature film. So if you're like, hey, why is there a lot of weird stuff going on in this film and it goes quiet for a little bit and maybe there's like cut all over the place, that's why. Me and Universal Music Group, Rise Records, you know what I mean? Skibbity Toilet, put them up, buddy. We're gonna go to town and we're gonna go to do it. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. It was a crazy one. I wanted to react to this. It was a good time. I might have been a little bit too harsh. I don't think I said any of my actual opinions. <laughs> I was just like screaming at the top of my lungs for whatever reason about whatever, all right? It was okay. I don't know. I wasn't really here with a critical eye. Okay, see you later. Watch these other videos. Bye for now.